Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. Don't mind my hair, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Um, we're going to do things a little different today for the um for the daily. We're gonna take a look at the good things coming in. Okay, it still counts as a daily reading, but we're gonna take a look at the good things coming in. But before I get started, I wanted to share the gifts. If you guys watched the live last night, I told you I got some gifts. So I'm gonna share a few. I'm not gonna share all of them. I'll do them over um, the course of the week because I've been getting a lot of gifts. Um, but this one, I love this. I found out who sent it to me, but I'm not gonna share their name. This is supposed to, well, let me read it. It catch, let me read it to you, okay? It says, <clears throat> hope you're good. I sent the Gullah Haint bottle. It is a part of South Carolina coastal culture. They would put blue bottles in trees to catch evil spirits that will come and the sun would heat the bottle up to destroy it. They would also paint their houses haint blue to keep negative spirits out. I thought it would be a good since Gullah or the G Chi culture is a part of the Carolinas, Southern coastal, North Carolina, coastal South Carolina, to send you something that from um, that is just as distinctive as the culture of Louisiana. So this, I'm going to hang outside in one of my trees, which I do have a lot of trees surrounding my house. And I thought this was just so beautiful, so thoughtful. And the person also sent me this little, uh oh starfish and i'm not gonna read it right now but it was just saying how um telling me how i'm making a difference so that was this was a really touching gift so thank you so much and i've already told you thank you but thank you i really really appreciate this so much and i'm gonna hang this up as soon as i'm done the dog when i go get the dogs outside let me put this on this um and then also i got this album from Miss Alisa, I'm gonna say Alisa Mikes. Alisa Mike. Okay, you guys go stream this. Okay, I think she's on Google Play. She sent me some cards of some free downloads. I'm gonna to take to my gym to pass out. But I listened to a few songs. Her voice is absolutely beautiful. So if you are into jazz music, please, please, I'm gonna put this in my community page as well. Go support her, Alisa Mikes. A M Serenades. Okay, A M Serenades. So that is beautiful. And I'll share some more um, as I do some more readings. So let's do this. And if you guys missed it on the live last night, um, one, one message first is that the um, road opener is closed. Okay, I'm conducting that today. So I'm doing two shorter readings. And then that's that the tonight I will be doing the ritual. Um, so the road opener is closed. If you put your name, Tonight would be the first night that you read your letter before you go to bed, and then you read it every night after. You could do three to seven days. Three is a powerful number. Seven is a powerful number. Whatever resonates with you, okay? Whatever is going to resonate with you, that's how much uh, many times you can read it, okay? You will know when you're done reading it, okay? So the road opener is closed, Happy airy season for um, people. Happy birthday to whoever's birthday is March 21st today. Um, I am going to be doing a, I'm going to be doing birthday reading. So every day, if it is your birthday, during, I mean, obviously if you're in Aries, you, one of these days, sometimes we have cross watchers, so that's fine. But if it is your birthday, I'm going to be doing a mini reading. Okay. Um, so be looking on the lookout for that on your special day. So let's go ahead and get started here. And let's see, it's calling and I lit my candle. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels. Please allow me to have a clear message here for the Aries Collective. All right. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Tell us about the good things coming to Aries. Okay. What are the good things coming to Aries? Holy Spirit. I'm just getting, getting mail. All right. All right. Let's see here. What are the good things coming to Aries? I don't know why the music didn't cut on. One moment, guys. One moment. One moment.
You know it's Aries season because this morning while we were listening, uh, eating breakfast, we started off with Marvin Sapp. He saw the best in me. By the time I was leaving the gym, it was Uchiwa, Uchiwali on the, jamming to that. So you know the energy, you know the vibes. We praise and we turn up. All right, so let's see here. What is going on for Aries season? Okay. What do we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? What are the good things coming in for Aries? We got the family room. What are the good things coming in for Aries? Good, positive things that will make them happy. What are the good things coming in for Aries? This popped out first, and now it's out again. Toil and labor. What are the good things? I'm seeing occupation at the bottom of the deck. What are the good things coming towards Aries? Give me two more. Marriage. That card keeps coming out. We got child at the bottom of the deck. So, all right. What are the good things here coming in for Aries? That moonology is on. All right. So there's something here. We've got great fortune and we have the bad health card. So that means this is the good things. Somebody who could be in some sort of situation with their health, it will be improving. You know what I'm also getting? If you need money for some sort of treatment, that will be coming through as well. So let's see here. We'll get back to that. I'm going to pull some from the moonology. three cards we have nothing is yet set in stone we have have faith in your dreams and have faith in your dreams and communication is key so let's see what that is about we'll, i'm going to pull a card for each one of these and then we have a win-win outcome as forecast i want to pull one um Wisdom of the Oracle, and then I'm going to pull a few tea leaf cards. Good things want coming towards Aries. Give us one card. Community. I like that. Community. All right, three whoop, cards. I don't know if that wanted to come out or not. All right, we got one. Solid foundation and success with effort. Two more. Well, God damn it. All right, let's see. I see one turned over, so we're going to take that. And it's just... It's a, um, so I'll pull two more after this, but it's the month of the year and it says August. So something good may be coming in August. Okay. One. Two. Two. So you got something here about a dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. We'll pull a card on that. And we have finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Okay. So that feels like, you know, you are going to be let known of a situation before it happens or before it gets bad. That could be to do with the health as well. Um, all right, let's see what's going on here. I'm going to pull a card for each one of these. Let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, Spirit is being So this is just, you know, in general. Maybe I'll do one about love, the good thing that's coming in love. So let's see here. Tell us about family room. 
I knew it. <laughs> Somebody could be having a baby. Um, if you know you can't have a child, there's going to be some sort of blessing that comes into your family. Okay. You hear of your child that has a child. Maybe a sister has a child. There's a birth that is going to take place with inside of your family that is going to be a blessing, a good thing that is coming towards you. Um, some of you, right? Some of you could be working from home, which is going to be a blessing. That's what's something I got here with the Empress here. I'm seeing a lot of abundance come to someone's home. Okay. So that could be more people, more money, more love but this is going to be affecting your family and your home life in a good way. Okay. Some of you, there could be a, there could be a pregnancy after a loss, but I'm seeing the five of cups at the bottom of the decks, right? So that is a blessing that comes in. Tell us about the toil and labor. Six of wands, a lot of success and recognition for your hard work is coming, Aries. So if you're really putting in the grind in something, there is going to be some sort of recognition, okay, that um, people are going to see you, okay? You are going to be, I heard chosen for something, so I don't know what that means, but you are going to be on the up and up. People are going to know your name. There's going to be a lot of recognition for what you're doing. Tell us about marriage. I mean, there it is. <laughs> I mean, King of Cups. Okay. So it seems like someone is going to be in love. This is what is coming to you this year. The marriage card has been coming very strongly. Okay. This is someone here that, I um, mean, the marriage card can be of a business of some sort too, but this is love. Okay. Someone is about to meet somebody here who is is ready. Let's say that the King of Cups. If you're ready for love and you know you are ready for a relationship, you are about to meet someone here who is ready as well. Very romantic. We got the Nine of Wands and we got the, the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is someone here who is going to not give up on the relationship, right? Or be very consistent. I'm hearing even keeping the romance alive as well. So there's romance coming into your life, Aries. Tell us about the bad health. <clears throat> This is, you know what? This may be something that comes up. Tell me more about this. Okay. This may be something that comes, this seems like a situation where this is, if you have not been having any health issues, this is not for you. This feels like this is for somebody with a reoccurring situation in your health that it comes back up. But this time when it comes back up, there is some sort of, remedy or cure here. Okay. I'm also seeing aggressive treatment or something like that, that really takes it away. Okay. Cause this is the good things, right? me. Knight of swords, the judgment and the page of cups. Okay. Um, and it's whatever, ha whatever the treatment is, it works very quickly with this knight of swords energy now. And so this is a reminder to keep your faith, keep your faith strong, right? Don't be swayed or moved by any kind of negative or bad news. This is when your faith is, comes the strongest because it does look like here that something does come back up. So it's like somebody who's had a, a recurring health issue, but there seems to be a cure or you finally put it to rest this last time. All right. Tell us about nothing is yet set in stone. Six of swords and the magician. If you're manifesting something, you still have time to, it's either move away from certain things that are blocking the manifestation. It's because the nothing set in stone card is about that you still have time to change something, to bring something in, if that makes sense. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? What is happening around you right now is not permanent. You need to move away. There's a, this is specific, but somebody needs to move away from some sort of conflict, headache. It could be people around you who argue a lot, some sort of situation that is very draining. Once you move away from that, it seems like there's something that is going to come in for you, okay? This manifestation here. So this is specifically for someone who is actively trying to manifest something. There's something that you need to move away from. Tell me about this magician. Seven of Wands and protect. So it. So you're working harder right now than you have to. Okay, you're working harder right now than you have to. But once you move away from this thing, this could even be relocating. It could be changing a job. Something gets easier and it comes in quicker. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It'll make sense for the person it needs to. Tell me about communication is key. 
Ace of Swords. I, it feels like you're going to get the truth in a situation. This is strong Gemini energy. Um, somebody may have been holding back something. Queen of Wands, there you are, Aries. Tell me more. Tell me about the communication is key. And the Hermit. I feel like you're going to get the truth about something, Aries. We got Virgo energy, Queen of Wands here, and the Ace of Swords. Um, if somebody has been keeping something to themselves, holding back, I feel like you're going to get the truth. You're going to get some sort of communication. And, and I feel like that may resolve things. Okay. Tell us about the outcome of the communication is key. Or at least you just get, yeah, the lovers, strong Gemini energy. Um, maybe there's a healing. Okay, there's a healing once you get the truth about something. This could be specifically in a relationship. When you hear the truth about something, it could heal a relationship, okay, with the lovers. So if that's something that you've been waiting for, like this doesn't just feel like, oh, this is a little thing. I feel like this is a situation where someone has been, like it's been racking your mind to know what the solid truth is of a situation. And when you receive that truth, it brings peace and harmony to your life and possibly to a relationship. Okay, so that's a good thing. Tell us about have faith in your dreams. Three of Pentacles. The Chariot. That's beautiful. 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 Faith is an activator. Faith is an activator. And that's what I'm seeing here. Tell me one more about have faith in your dreams. Faith is an activator. Right now, someone is not seeing any forward movement. And this could still relate to... Um, Nothing is set in stone. But right now, somebody is not seeing any forward movement in a dream that they have um, with the two of swords can sometimes represent a blockage of some sort or a stalemate because a decision has not been made. With the devil card here at the bottom of the deck, you're not seeing any forward movement because you are kind of still chained to either negative thoughts, obsessive thoughts, doubts, self-doubts. Like your mind is addicted to doubting everything that you do. These chains, the, with saying have faith in your dreams, faith. We just had a, I just had coffee with some ladies today and this is so crazy. This is coming up, but we were, the conversation while we were having coffee was about faith and how powerful it is. It is an activator. The moment that you start believing in yourself or whatever this dream is, you'll start to see things moving forward. And you got the chariot, which is moving forward, forward movement and success, moving away from the difficult things. And you got the three of pentacles, which is once things start moving forward, all of the moving pieces will start to fall into place, like i.e. investors, people coming in to help you, to collaborate, you know, to build and grow whatever this dream is. But the key here is that I'm feeling like someone here is going to finally make the decision to step out on faith and to combat these negative thoughts here. Look, it's underneath the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel that, and you know, that is a work in progress. I'm a, I'm a testament to that. That is a work in progress. The key is here, and I have to say this, is that, you know, I was once, I was once a very negative mindset of person. And I'm telling you, it's not something that happens overnight. You have to be consistent about changing your mindset. If you're not, you don't want it. There is no quick fix. And I'm not saying this to scare anybody because it didn't, for that amount of discipline I had to change my mindset was there's no, there's no, how do you say there's no What's the word I'm looking for? Um, there's no price on that. It is invaluable. So it is definitely here about how bad do you want your life to change? Do you want to continue to stay stuck in the situation that you're in? Or are you willing to do whatever it takes to change your life? And that means every time you have a negative thought, be very abrupt with replacing it with a positive one. Every time you hear... I can't do it. Or you say, I can't do it. Be very abrupt with replace. That's really what it is. You have to, it's almost you're like you're your own coach. You have to coach yourself and stop thinking in a certain direction. I remember that, I remember, and you have to be so consistent. You have to indulge in this type of energy, right? You can't have a double, like the two of swords, you can't have a double-edged mind. You can't have, like they would say, have one foot into the old world and one foot in the new. You're not going to make any 
forward movement. Remember there was at one point I would be driving to work and every single instant, I, I stopped listening to music. I stopped listening to the radio. We'll say that. I stopped listening to the radio. I would listen to my own music, my own playlist if I wanted to listen to music. But every morning I would listen to Abraham Hicks on the way to work. Then slowly and surely over the few months, I was guided to listen to Neville sermons every day on the way to work. Then, you know, it was Joseph Murphy. Then it was, it was just whatever spirit would bring to me that would start resonating next. I would indulge in these teachings and they saturated my mind to the point where I started living that way. Right. And you know, even sometimes there were urges and, you know, there's nothing wrong with rap music taking breaks, but I was so focused about changing my life. And when you get to that point of consistency, things will change. And before you know it, it's, it's changed. You know, this is not a for everything before you know it, it is your way of living. You know, that small few months and maybe six months of consistent effort of making sure I'm not going in the negative direction, making sure I'm not expecting the worst. And now I'm expecting the best in every situation. That little bit of effort and discipline has changed my whole entire life. And I just have to stop and say that because there's someone here where you, you know, a lot of people always ask in the readings, what is my blockage? Swords represent your thoughts your thoughts. And one thing I will see people say and do a lot is, well, I can't do this because of this. And I don't know how to do this. And I can't, and I just stop because it's very hard at that point to tell people, Hey, you're making excuses for yourself because you got to, you really got to train yourself to catch yourself, you know? And so the person who's not quite there yet, it'll frustrate them, but that's something that you have to find on your own journey you know, hey, wait a minute, you, you know what I'm saying? You're making excuses for yourself and people will still be like, but no, 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 it's the truth. Stop making it your truth. You know, stop making it your reality. You just have to start by what you speak over yourself and what you're thinking. When you change your thoughts, I just want to say it again. When you change your thoughts, you will change your life. And how bad you want to change your life depends on how consistent you will be. It does not take long. It does not take long. Okay? I just want to say that. All right. So let's see here. We have community. Ten of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Some of you may be getting an offer, an opportunity to join. Yeah, this feels like, I was going to say moving, relocate, but this feels like dropping the old. I'm going to tell you what it looks like. It's just dropping the old of something. And when you let go of something that is old, it's literally being replenished by something new. Some of This could be somebody here who... Right now you're a loner, right? It seems like, cause it seems like somebody here is on their own doing things by themselves. But it's kind of like when you drop what has ever happened to you in your past, let's say it's call it a friend group, cause this feels like a soul tribe, you know, and you drop whatever happened to you. I feel like there's somebody who's still holding on to baggage of what may have happened to them. That is when spirit is bringing you in a new soul tribe, new people. All right, into your life here that is going to bless your life, new exciting experiences. I'm seeing like literally a group of friends and a group of people. You may even be traveling with these people here, but it's 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 based off of you making the decision to drop something that has happened to you in the past, something that may have been plaguing you, you may have been very burdened by it. Maybe you go get therapy, maybe you decide to journal it out, maybe you just you know you just release something. And when you do, it's like one by one these new people come into your life and they're not coming empty handed. That's what I'm seeing here. That's the blessing in this. Whoever these new people are that are coming into your life, they're not coming in empty handed. They're coming in to bless your life like you would bless theirs in any capacity that is, whether it's a friend group, whether it's work, business. It's like once you let go of something that has happened to you, there's new coming in. Okay. So, oh, before we end it, 
before we end it, I'm going to get another deck and I'm going to pull um, these cards real quick. Holy Spirit is sending angels. Clear message here for the Aries. What was the first one that came out? We have the Tower here. Solid foundation, success, and effort. Ace of Wands. So there, somebody here is getting some sort of inspiration or spark to start something, something that you're very passionate about, very excited about. If you, you know what I'm saying, start and continue, okay, success with effort, you will be very successful in this thing. You will grow this. It could be a business here with the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. All right. Tell us about August. What's coming up in August? A blessing or a good thing for Aries in August? What is this? Good thing coming for Aries in August. Seeing the Nine of Swords, something you may have been stressing about, worrying about. Queen of Wands, it seems like an opportunity. Tell me more. It was something that you were once in your head about. Let me see. Very, it's very, tell me about the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords literally crossing. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you, you're going to be, it's love. That's what it is. We got the nine of swords crossing, the nine of pentacles, which is a very good card. It's independence. It is singleness. We got the queen of wands and then we got the ace of cups. I feel like it's love. I feel like it's love. Like, yeah, I feel like it's love. Some of you may be, you know, worried about being single. When is it coming in? If it's not coming in. And I feel like the Queen of Wands energy is this fun, exciting energy, this passionate energy, kind of just doing you. Every time I see the Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands is very attractive too. So is the Nine of Pentacles. So it's kind of like when you put the attention on yourself, there's something that comes in in August. It looks like love, but the Ace of Cups there. All right. Tell us about the dark woman. What is this about for Aries? The sun. Wow. That's Leo energy too, which is around August time. We got the queen of pentacles. Tell us about this dark woman. We got the devil. Tell me about the devil. I'm saying this in two, two ways. Tell me about the devil though. The Fool and the Page of Wands. One, the first thing that came, jumped out at me is that there feels like that there's something that's going to be illuminated about a particular person, which is a blessing for you, okay? It is a blessing for you because it it allows you either to break free and away from this person. I'm not seeing it all as negative because it does feel like a little bit like an obsession though. So maybe you see something and that, that the warning did, the finger did come out right after warning you of a problem either now or near in the future. Tell me about the sun. Queen of Swords. It's like, yeah, there's something that's illuminated that helps you make a decision. Tell me about the sun. Knight of Pentacles. And the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the finger. Warning you of a problem either. The temperance. And the wheel of fortune. This is divine protection for sure. So this is divine protection for sure. With the temperance and the wheel of fortune and the hangman coming out, something may be delayed. Okay. Something may be delayed for you. And okay, so this is how I'm seeing this. This be very specific, but keep we'll keep it general. Something that you may be doing or are going to do is delayed for you. And it could be having to do with another person. If you're going into business with someone, if you're working with someone, but take that delay, okay? That delay or something is held up is because of your protection, because you're going to see something. Something is going to be revealed. And to me, protection is always a blessing, but something is going to be revealed to you. So you go in the other direction, Okay, and you take, I feel like it's going to be very sharp pivot for you. So I love this because this means that you are protected. There's nothing better than protection 
before you could possibly hurt yourself, wreck yourself, or be involved with somebody here who is not of your highest good with the devil card here. I'm getting a very, okay, let me put it in another way too, because this just came to me. Um, if somebody is really pressuring you to do something or to start something with them, um, take that as a sign too, that where they're just too obsessive, too eager for you to be a part of something, you know what I'm saying? Have your energy in something, take that as a sign. Um, that you need to take a step back and assess the situation, especially with the queen of swords. Okay. Move slowly before you act because there's something around it. I mean, the word, and then this is, I don't know if this is extreme or not, but the word energy harvesting just came to me. So I don't know what that's about. Temperance is about taking your time though, for sure. Slowing down, um, everything done in balance. There's an obsessive energy here, I feel like. And with the sun, it's going to be exposed. It's going to be for your 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 highest good, all right? So tomorrow, we'll do a loved one to focus a little bit more on love. But that's the good things that are coming for you, all right? Take care, guys. Bye.